Alrighty, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This time we're doing some uh, Kina, I believe it's, no, or Kena, uh, Bridge of Spirits. And for this one, we're, we're going to be talking about the Master Spirit Guide trophy. So if you were not able to do the uh, glitch, then you are literally going to have to play this in the hardest mode. And uh, in my opinion, this game <laughs> was really freaking hard. So all I want to say, it's like in this video... I'm pretty much going to skip like all like the puzzles and all that and just get to like the hard stuff if that makes sense. Now, I know I'm including more than um, than all like the actual bosses just because like in some fights you pretty much like say for example the first boss is the one you fight, right? It's it's called a sprout, I believe. Later down the road, you're going to fight him again, but not technically as a boss, but they're still as hard as as they were before if that makes sense so uh i'm pretty much going to try to break it down how i personally defeated these dudes um you know of course just letting you guys know this is probably not like the best guide out there and all that but this is just i'm literally showing you guys how i actually beat them if that makes sense so hopefully this helps um first thing i would actually recommend doing is actually playing the actual game first on just regular mode or something else i mean if this is your first time playing and you're trying to go on it in masters then bravo to you because uh, this game was pretty tough so that's the first thing i do the other thing that i do recommend is trying to find where all of the uh meditation points are at just due to you know to get more health then that's pretty much what the meditation points are so uh, just ju just a quick little rundown um i did something stupid uh i tried knocking down two birds with one stone which was um i tried going for all the collectibles and everything while i was playing on hard mode and it was rough i was able to do it but i think i was doing too much so just a heads up, at least try to go for the meditations just so you can get more health and uh, probably try to get some rots as well so you can have more than just like two meters. Um, you'll see later down in, in the videos that I have like all five. Well, since I was going for everything, I had up to five, but like I never really used more than three. So that's just that. But uh, anyways, let's get started with all like the perks and upgrades that I had and uh, let's get back into it. Alrighty, so as you can see on the screen, I pretty much unlocked everything, but if I'm being honest with you, I didn't really use everything. Honestly, the only ones that I believe that you should worry about is exactly that that second line right there. That's where the whole parry and the whole shield um, health comes into play. I think that is by far the most helpful ones in this. Um, my methods really kind of depend on parry a lot. So as, as you can see here, the parry counter, every time you parry perfectly, you'll do like a spin attack. Now, it, it doesn't do like the greatest amount of damage, but uh, it's still, it, it's extra damage. Now, the shield health as well, it's something you want to do. And especially the parry courage, because that's the one that every time you parry, it's going to give you a rot meter. So that's going to be very helpful. And obviously try to go for the shield plus plus just because you'll literally see that once you unlock the dash ability, that thing is like a life changer. And that helps a, a lot. Also, the other one I would also recommend is the one with the arrow where you slow down time. That one helps out a lot. And also uh, having uh, the five and the six arrows really helps out a lot. But for the rot, I would honestly just recommend the rot hammer. That is probably the only thing that really helped me out. The rot infused arrow barely did any damage. It's literally, you'll see that the rot hammer was the one that helped out a lot. Everything else is kind of whatever, but I would prioritize uh, right, like right there on screen, just the second one, the rot hammer and the arrows with the slowing down thumb. So now let's get started. Alrighty, so here's the first boss. Uh, his name is Sprout, and now this is the um, the boss that you will eventually fight uh, multiple times along the story. Again, not as a boss, but you know he will still technically appear. Um, but this guy's pretty simple. See, this is a guy that you should be practicing your parry. And if you don't know what parry means, it's blocking right as he is attacking. And you'll see right now in the screen. Um, that is pretty much where you block perfectly and you send them flying and you take no damage and you lose no shield. But uh, also shielding a lot um, is going to be helpful as well. See, so that was right there, parry. Um, obviously, be able to use your um, your rot meters, okay? Because as, as you can see right now, this is where I still don't understand like how good uh, the, the, uh, the rots are. But you'll see eventually I'll, I'll keep on doing that pretty better, so... 
All right, so this next part is not a boss fight, but I did actually have trouble in this one. Uh, again, this is where I was still, you know, learning how to use like the rods and the whole parry and all that stuff. But I, I did have issues with this one. Again, it's not a boss fight, but this is where another sprout comes out again. It's like, whoa. So the first thing I would do is cleanse out all like the flowers, the corrupt flowers, because if you don't cleanse them out, they're all just going to keep on spawning. Again, this is where you should be practicing how to parry just a little bit. Um, but also I, I do want to point out that, um, you know, as, as we're getting along the video, I'm going to be like speeding it up just so that this like video isn't like two hours long. It's like, I'm going to put time step to which, to like, which, uh, to which it pertains to which boss, if that makes sense. So you can just kind of skip around because look, here's the point about this game that I don't like you like do no type of damage to them and you die in like two hits. That's just the reality of, of, of this game. And you, you're going to die a lot. So a lot of the time it's just you just shooting them, hitting them, backing off, running away. And then going back in, shooting them, hitting them, and backing off again. That's literally kind of like how I see this game where it's just like, well, it's just repetition. And some of these fights take way too freaking long. But anyways, just keep on doing that. Um, Wait for him to attack. And then that's when you can just... um. Hit him, and then run away, and then also make sure to block. So it's like I'm I'm gonna get better with uh, like the actual other bosses. It's just cause like they all have different animations at how they attack, but like these are all simple. So like like I said right there, keep on working with the uh, the parries. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna skip it because like it's all repetition at this point. Well, I guess fast forward. Now, in this uh, part, again, a bunch of, like, little dudes are going to spawn, and then another uh, sprout's going to come. So, again, just kind of, you know, same method, just hit him, back away, hit him, back away. And that's pretty much how, like, a lot of these boss fights are going to be. So, again, hopefully you guys can understand how, like, how, why I'm trying to, like, fast forward these fights, just because it's literally all repetition. Again, once you get the raw hammer, these things will become a lot easier because the raw hammer does a lot of damage, but, uh... Typically, this is how the fights are. You do literally like no damage and two hits and you're pretty much dead. So this is why it gets really annoying. But again, keep on trying, people. Like you will eventually get there. Like you'll get the hang of parries and everything. And trust me, once you unlock the dash ability, it's pretty much game over. It's like pretty much easy to go from there. Alrighty, so now the next actual boss is called Kappa. Uh, this is a very annoying fight just because, as you can see, this guy teleports between those three pawns. And if you try getting close to him, he's going to hit you with one of those bombs. So what I would recommend doing for this guy is um, pretty much knocking down all of the like little enemies that spawn so that you can build up your rot meter. So now you you're going to see right here that I just looked at him and I pressed square and the rots went to go attack him. Now, at that point, that's where he doesn't... Uh, really escape and that's your chance for you to start um just smacking them this is pretty much all repetition and that's all you're gonna have to do once you take him down half in health he's gonna go on top and he's just, he's just gonna start throwing a bunch of those bombs right my only recommendation just kind of just keep on dodging like in a circle and you'll make it fine um trust me once you get the rod hammer unlocked um this fight will be a lot easier because you do actually end up fighting capo like maybe twice more and once you have that ability where where you call the rots on him and then use a rot hammer it's really easy from there on so pretty much just just keep on repeating exactly like the same thing what i'm doing and uh kappa is pretty much not the hardest boss even in in, in master difficulty it's more about the little minions that pop out always try to go for those first and build your rot meter all right, ladies and gentlemen, so now this one is the fight that is pretty much going to make you want to quit this uh, master mode. This one was the actually the first challenging one that was really was like pissing me off and it was like, what the hell? So first of all, once you slide down, you're going to fight these monkeys. Obviously, just keep on moving. Don't stay still because they they will hit you. Um, the keys to just always keep on moving and then just take them down one by one. Now, what sucks is that right after this, this is where you fight the Wood Knight. And that Wood Knight is going to kick your ass. I'm sorry to tell you this, but unless you're legit really freaking good, that guy's going to kick your ass. And you're going to keep on doing that same 
monkey stuff all over again. Keep on fighting this. Now, this is the thing that I found with him. He he, he launches at you, and instead of dodging to the side, launch straight in front of him. Y you're literally seeing that like I'm legit dodging his attack, even though he's, he's attacking me straight. Like that's literally all I'm doing. Obviously, your first thing to do is try to take down his three weak spots. There's one in front, one in his elbow, and one in the back, right? So this is where the rot's going to start coming in handy again. Use the rot, as you can see right there. It stops him, and that's where you can go to the back and shoot his thing. Now, even if you do shoot his three weak spots, you barely do any damage. Again, this is the issue about this game. So... Just keep on repeating again. He's going to try to go at you. Just launch in front of him. Hit him. And then back away. And just keep on shooting him like this. It's all back and forth like this. This is how I pretty much defeated him. And again, he does pop out a few times. Oh, now I forgot to mention that. He does throw his... Uh his little bark right there like a couple times so just be aware that again as long as you keep your distance you should be good and when he does throw the bark just be careful like dodge exactly as he throws it don't dodge as as you think he's gonna throw it do it as exactly as he um throws it but trust me again we still don't have the uh the rot hammer but once we unlock it it's gonna be a lot easier but this this one's gonna really test you if you still really want to do this again this is where you should practice your parries because it uh, trust me parries are going to come out in really handy so hopefully this helps now let's go to the next one now next on up this is uh by the forgotten forest this is where you got to do all like the little shrines the water shrine the fishing shrine and all that now this one can be very annoying because of the monkeys they'll throw like a spike and um you know it does like an orb or like a wave that pretty much hits you so my recommendation for this is just always shield remember you have a shield and just try not to stay in, in the same place at, um, for too long because these dudes are just going to keep on spawning at you. Remember, jump and um, hold the arrow. It slows down time, but just keep on moving from place to place. Again, this one took me a few tries again. So this is why I included this one. Just follow exactly what I'm doing. And now in this one, uh, this is just the puzzle part with the fishing temple. I, I to, to this day, I still don't even know how to do this. I had to l literally look this up. So in case you are stuck in this part, uh, there's a puzzle part because, again, yeah, th that one was pretty stupid. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. Now, now for this next one, uh, this is the Sprout Captain. I believe this is like the only time you really fight this dude. There might be another time, but I, I can't really remember. Now, for this dude, I really recommend trying to learn how to parry. This guy uh, attacks kind of slow and it's kind of predictable. You're going to see in this video that I, I'm not fast forwarding it like at all. It's all like, you know, in actual time. I do a lot of parries with this guy just because like you kind of see how like this guy attacks a little bit slow now I don't dodge everything right there's a few attacks where it, that's like whoa what the heck but again this is where I already unlocked the rod hammer and uh this like you're seeing the damage right there again focus on all like the weak points first and then right there just practice with the parry believe me the parry is gonna come in so clutch later on especially once you unlock the perk where every time you parry you get a rot meter for free so that's gonna be very helpful um this took me a couple tries not nothing too crazy again this is like probably one of the few times you actually face this guy so just kind of do exactly as i do uh, uh like especially that one that one's very hard to dodge but the one where he slams on top pretty simple to parry and there you go so now let's move on to the next one and hopefully this is helping out Alrighty, so now we're fighting the shrine guardian and then this is a really annoying fight this is the guy that just does not die like at all and literally in time in like real time this fight took me like 10 minutes and it's just because literally it's the same thing so this guy's not necessarily too bad. What makes it really hard for this one is that all the minions just keep on respawning. Like, no matter what you do, they're just going to keep on spawning over and over again. So, the trick for this one is going to be to just take them down. Like, try not to focus too much on the um, on, on the shrine guarding too much. Focus on the small ones so that you can build your um, rot meter. Now... There's going to be a few like the little minions that actually have a golden like little weak spot by their eyes. And those are the ones you want to shoot them right there. Because if you do hit them and kill them in the um, in their weak spot, they're going to drop little orbs. And those orbs will help uh, your rot meter a lot faster. So as you can see, this guy doesn't really like attack. He attacks really freaking slow. Um, on this one, I actually use no parry. 
But uh, all he really does is just try lunging at you. And as you're seeing in, in the screen, just dodge to the side. And his other like move that he does is that he leaps towards you, but he's still very slow. So you can just literally just dodge. As you can see on screen, I'm literally just going in a full circle. And he's not hitting. Now, there's going to be a few times where the Shrine Guardian does like get kind of mad. So he like gets on his knees and he like throws vines into uh, like the underground again. Once he does that, just go in a full circle like that. And he's 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 actually vulnerable at that point. So what you want to do is build enough meter to have the actual rot hammer. Again, the rot hammer is going to come very freaking handy. And that's when you go slam him and give him a few here and there. And just keep on repeating that literally. Um, this fight was very freaking annoying. Now again, try to build up enough uh, rot uh, meter to get that. And as you can see, just it's a lot of rinse and repeat. That's why this game's kind of annoying because it's like you do no freaking damage at all. So like that, for example, right there. See, as you can see, he's standing still. Go up to him, hit him with the rot hammer and blam. And that's literally all the things he does. Now, of course, you know, just be careful. The little minions are freaking annoying and they will get you. Um, there's like two to three healths in here. So just try to play smart. Um, but it's really the bosses that do a lot of damage. So just try to avoid them at all costs and just shoot them from afar. But again, the rot hammer is going to be your best friend. And, um, if you really do build up enough, like rot meters and all that, you know, you send the, the rots to go attack them, you know, so it stuns them and then use a rot hammer instead of just always waiting. But again, this is just what I did. Um, again, not the most basic, like helpful tips either is just like <laughs> this fight's really annoying but the one that's gonna get super annoying is the next one so just get um get ready for that one because that's the one that took me like i want to say two to three hours and literally want to make me quit so just take the, this guy down and there you go all right so now this one this one ah, corrupt taro man probably the hardest boss fight in this entire game now he has two two phases the first phase is probably the easiest one you're gonna see that i barely even get hit um again this took a lot of tries okay so just because you're seeing me doing on screen doesn't mean it took me that uh, that easy but the first thing you want to do is shoot the little bell that he has hanging around his head and here okay now there's times where i do parry times where i don't the the main thing you want to do is try to stay away from him now Again, if, if you're good at parries, this is going to help out a lot, but try not to get too close to him. The thing that I want to tell you in this is every time his little bell lights up, shoot him, okay? Um, even when he's blind like that, don't go up to him. It's very hard to parry with this dude. So what I would recommend is staying away from him. And this exactly like that, you want him to jump over you like that. That's when he becomes vulnerable, and that's when you want to swipe him a few times. Um... This is pretty much where the second phase... Oh, that one. Careful with that one. Whatever you do, just don't try to parry. Just keep on blocking because that one is the one that's going to kill you a lot. So whenever he does like launch at you like that, that's when you just want to keep on holding the uh, the shield because he does like five different animations after that. So as you saw right there, that's how I um, did it. But uh, now in the second phase, this is where you're just going to start running around. And this is where it's going to get very difficult and very freaking frustrating because it is very frustrating. Now he's going to try to launch at you and grab you. If he grabs you, you're almost pretty much dead. Now the only recommendation that I can do is do not dodge until he puts out his hands like that. That's when you want to dodge. Um, I do actually get lucky here in this little part, which again, I don't know what happened, but see, look at his freaking animations just keep on like attacking you, which is stupid. Now I got really lucky on that one that I actually parried in time. So I just want to tell you guys, like try to save your, um, your rot meters for parts like that, where like he's launching at you. So you can just kind of smack him. And as you see, like I got lucky with this guy. Um, I hope this one kind of helps because again, I feel like this is like the most frustrating one of them all literally So hopefully just see what I do and hopefully my tips kind of help for this one Because again, this is the hardest fight. This one took me like three hours to do So hopefully you don't give up and good luck and hopefully the, the guide is helping so far All right, so now next up This is where we're going to make our way towards fields and this is where you have to fight another wood knight Yes, another wood knight. So it's like whatever um First thing I would recommend doing is taking down all like the butterflies slash moths, whatever they are. And again, we're going to keep on doing the same um, 
routine with this that uh with this dude sorry about that um every time he he tries charging at you just run towards him and you're more than likely gonna avoid his thing again try to stay away from him and again i'm only speeding it up because we already encountered this dude uh again if you're having trouble with this dude skip back to um one of the first minutes um that's where we fight the first one um again Every time you launch that, you just go forward, and this is now. This time, you you have your rot hammer, so it should be a lot simple. So hopefully that helps. Now this one again, um, it's not necessarily a boss fight, but we do end up fighting another Sprout Captain. Um, again, you know, I told you maybe one more time we're gonna fight him, but this time he was a lot simpler. Again, hopefully at this point your parry has you know improved a lot. And obviously this time you have the rot hammer. So as you're going to see, it takes him down pretty quick. Um, just remember, master the parries. He's pretty slow when he comes to attacking and just keep on slamming him like that. Um, eventually you'll just take him down and pretty simple. And I'm pretty sure this is the last time you fight one of these sprout captains. So just take him down and then that's it for this dude. Alrighty, so next up, this is where we're pretty much deep inside the fields. Um... This is a, a little section where we're going to have to, um, first of all, fight like these dudes right here. Um, again, the same first thing. Just take down the flowers, the corrupt flowers, because they're going to keep on respawning. And another sprout is here. So hopefully at this point, we're like really happy or and like to fight or comfortable fighting sprouts, right? Uh, we know when to parry against them, so we can just take them down. Because right after this, we're fighting another boss, which is going to be the Vine Knight. Now, this guy is very slow. Uh, you're probably going to see that he he only hits me once. He's really freaking slow. My recommendation would be to obviously take down all three of his um, weak, weak spots first. And then always go for like the little orbs that are coming out, okay? Every time you hit them in the weak spot. Those are going to be life-changing. Um, but the recommendation... See, I probably got lucky there. <laughs> Not going to lie. But my, my, my only recommendation is just going to the side. Like go, go in a circle. That's how you easily dodge him. Get behind him and then just hit him with the rot hammer. Um, his moves don't really change from that. So again, just whenever he whips at you, that's where you just kind of go behind them and then use the rot hammer. Again, um, there's not going to be any more minions at this point. So just keep on shooting him. You can shoot him in his feet or like sometimes at his head, which wherever he's not blocking. Um, but just keep on shooting him and eventually that's all he really does. This is a simple one. It's not the craziest. Again, this is why like I'm kind of fast forwarding some of them just because like they're just literally like taking over and over like time consuming in that case. But anyways, we're done with this dude. Alrighty, so now continuing in the fields, um, this one's called the Stone Guardian. Uh, this is a very annoying one as well. This is a, another one that's very time consuming and that can get very annoying. So as you guys know, you have to shoot a bomb at him to expose his weaknesses, right? He has like five to six like weaknesses. And even once you, like, take down all six of his weaknesses, he's still, like, <laughs> it, it's like you just took away one-fourth of his health. A lot of it, again, is just you going over up to him and smashing him with the rot hammer and just very repetitive. So, again, the tip that I would recommend on this one is to just um, go for the minions. Again, try to shoot them in the weak spot. You know, some of them are going to have him. Some of them won't. And uh, every time you see a yellow orb on the floor, go try to pick it up, okay? Um, the only attack this guy's going to do is he's going to try to smack you. So, again, just try to go, like, in a circular motion. Again, that seems to be kind of, like, the thing for me, at least. And um, he tries to jump at you. That's how it's going to be pretty much until you lower him down until he's, like, half health. Again, you're you're starting to see that, you know, I'm smacking him so many times. I'm shooting him in all of his weak points. And he's still not necessarily halfway there. So he's barely halfway now there. You'll know you're halfway when he does like an energy blast, I guess, in a sense. Now, this is when he's going to start um, going into the ground, you know, dig, blah, blah, blah. This is your chance to go up to him because he's going to be vulnerable. And hopefully you have a rot meter at that point. Uh, go up to him, press it, and uh, the rot should go to his little flower in the back and give him some damage. And now, again, from here on on, is just rinse and repeat. Just um, gather up enough energy to get the rot hammer and knock him down. So 
pretty much it. Um, again, this this fight's gonna take you like a couple minutes. Again, I'm just doing it just to you know give you guys the tip and just um to not make you guys be here watching like the full like ten minutes. You know what I mean? So there you go. Alrighty, so next on up, this is where we're inside the caves. We're going to get to this point where uh, there's no other way out. There's a flower that we can't activate yet. And for some reason, there's no boss, right? So you have to fight a bunch of these, like, lizard dudes. But again, they're very simple to beat. And uh, once you use, like, the the rock god, like, that's all they go for. They don't even go for you, which is actually pretty cool. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but... Um, there seems to be a couple lizards that are just kind of stuck behind like in the back and it's like what the heck is going on i don't know if this is like meant f like for this to happen but in case of like no rot monsters popping out for you just go check in the backs take that down as well you know like the little corrupt flowers and oh well actually maybe that's what you have to do actually just take down those uh, fl uh corrupt flowers now anyways now the rot is gonna pop out i would recommend taking down like the little flying monsters first um this guy's actually not even that bad really the only movie does is just like throws like that little pink slime at you um what i rec would recommend just staying away from him uh just go in that in that circular motion that I, like i've been talking about like go in a circle take down the mots and right there when he's about like when his throat is like glowing pink that's when you want to try to hit him that's when you do most damage to him um now the the water god thing is there but i feel like it's just kind of a distraction it's just it just takes way too long for it to spawn um it's just like you're asking to get hit like right here it's like by the time i activated it, it was already done so just again uh try to gather enough energy for the um for the rots and get the rot hammer once uh he's kind of vulnerable just go up to him and smack him and that's pretty much it for this dude again this guy took me one try so shouldn't be that bad right all righty so now next on up this is where the double mages pop out and this is honestly a very annoying um fight so just adds up again just try to take down those uh those two dudes that shoot like the little blast at you first now go after like the little turtle dudes i guess is how like i can describe just because they have a shell now this is the most annoying part that because there's two double mages right um honestly like instead of taking down those explosive dudes just literally try try to run don't really try to um fight them just because like when you're concentrated on one side then the other side it's like literally sneaking up on you now what's really annoying about this part is when they throw the blast right they each throw two so it can be very freaking annoying. Now, what I would recommend is trying to get one to at least half health. Just because, remember, once they get like half health, um, they pretty much start recovering their health. And it's like, you got to start all over. So trust me, it's very annoying in that perspective. But my recommendation is try to weaken one down all the way to like, it's kind of like half ways. And um, once that one's like about half ways, as you can see, the one in the back is almost halfway. After that, just try to get up to three. Um, well, hopefully you have up, up to three um, rots at this point. And what you want to do is you want to call the rots to attack uh, the weak one, right? So you'll see in just a little bit. You call it to attack one of them. And then from right there, use two rot hammers on them. And you should pretty much kill them. So you'll see in just a little bit that that's what I do. Uh, you know, trust me. It gets very annoying because you're almost about to die. So here, we call the rots on him, right? We use a hammer. He's literally about to die. And that's when we use the other one just to not risk it. So now this is, I guess, a lot easier because now we just have one to worry about, right? Um, and so now there's three explosive little dudes. And um, yeah, don't do that because I really risked it. But now you're able to shoot down like the orbs that they shoot you. It's a lot simpler now. Now, for this specific part, you might have to, um, you know, get them to heal up again. Just until you have three, then that's when you should do it. So hopefully that helps. Alrighty, so now we're at the end of the fields uh, part, or I guess, yeah, fields. Um, this is where you fight the corrupt woodsmith. Um, again, first thing you want to do is just dodge. He's going to straight out attack you. And then next on up, you got to um, hit him with that um, that little orb that's up there again. You shoot your uh, your bomb up there, and um, you got to shoot it three times. Just careful. Um, when you shoot on the second time, he's going to charge at you, or she in, in this case. And that's when you got to want to try to dodge. Um, this fight actually isn't that, that half bad. Um, once you do actually knock it down first, um, 
that's when you want to actually start smacking him for a little bit. Um, and this is pretty much going to repeat for like three times. On the third time, that's when he doesn't actually go down. So just right there, as you see, just smack him a few times. But just careful because when he does launch or she launches, uh, you do take damage. So just be careful with the fire. It isn't anything crazy. Um, but again, just keep on doing the same thing. Um, just put a bomb on it. You got you. You have to shoot it three times. And I'm careful in this part because on the third one, that's where a um, that's where a uh, minion start popping out. But it shouldn't be anything crazy. Again, just shoot it down, and that should be the end of the first phase. The second phase is a little bit hard, but like nothing crazy. It's it's just really gonna depend up to you how to dodge. Now I'm skipping it at this point because there's nothing extra you have to do. It's literally just dodge and just keep on shooting from far away. Um, that's all you have to do. At some point, uh, the woodsmith is gonna spawn two of those like skeleton dudes. They're 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 very simple to shoot. Um, again, just use the skeleton minions to gather up uh, raw energy, and like I said, just go up to her and hit her with the hammer. That's pretty much it. Again, a bunch of rinse and repeat, right? Uh, once you gather enough, uh, wait for her to dodge. But again dodge exactly as she's about to strike you not like before because if you dodge before she's gonna hit you all the time so this is gonna take some time to kind of get used to it again um i, I was kind of getting used to how to like how she attacks so don't think this took like like one try right it's just mostly try to rinse and repeat you are gonna die a bunch of times and that's totally fine just like learn how to dodge like like a, a certain boss's attack and then it should be a lot simpler um but again she doesn't do anything crazy it's just like she just launches and every time she does that you you know just hit her with the rot hammer that's literally the only way um arrows don't seem like the powered up arrow didn't seem to work for me but uh there you go so hopefully you know this guide is still helping you out and you know we're like two-thirds there we're almost there ladies and gentlemen Alrighty, so now ne next on up, this is where we have to find Toshi's mask. Uh, this is literally the first part you go into, um, like the whole darkness part. Um, this is where you're going to find a mage. Um, again, this is now where you have your dash ability, and this is where it comes super handy now. Um, the the one thing that sh this mage does is that she kind of sucks up your life. So once that like purple thing is popping out, just go up to her and dash. It's like, you know, have your shield, which is L1, and then press R1. And you'll do dashing. Dashing a lot is very helpful, and you'll see later on. But um, this is where hopefully you have like your shield plus plus because the more shield you have, the more chances you have of doing the uh, the dash, right? Um, but just kind of want to throw it out there because like it was very confusing to me. Like, hey, how can I escape the um, the purple life life sucking part? And apparently, it's just you just dash through it. And believe me, the dash is uh, very helpful. So then once you take down the mage, everything else should be pretty simple. Um, just a bunch of like little minions, nothing crazy. But again, wasn't a boss fight, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys. Well, I guess there's a sprout right there, but we should be comfortable fighting these dudes, right? Hopefully at this point we know how to, um, what do you call it, uh, parry pretty well and, you know, just finish them off. Now we got the dash ability. Remember, dash ability really helps out a lot. Especially, it's it's better than just dodging itself. Um, so instead of dodging, you know, just use that. And there you go. Now let's move on to the next one. Now, next one up. This one isn't uh, like anything hard either. It's just I just want to show you because, you know, maybe you uh, don't know how to beat these uh, these dudes that are pretty much ghosts. Again, dash ability. <laughs> that's all you really got to do. Trust me, it comes in super freaking handy. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, once you defeat this one, two more are going to pop out. So... I know the first time I faced them, I was like, uh, how am I supposed to defeat these dudes? What the heck? And then it's like, I, it, it occurred to me like, hey, use the dash ability. And there you go. Trust me, the dash ability doesn't just all, only work just to um, escape, but it, it, it also hits and it comes uh, pretty handy. So there you go for that one. Uh, nothing crazy, but uh, I think now next up we fight the two bosses. So those are going to be pretty intense. So let's get right into those. Alrighty, so now we got the mask maker. Uh, this guy was pretty difficult too. So I would honestly say don't try to parry at all. He actually attacks really fast. So now the problem with this dude is that he teleports a lot and very quickly. Um, as soon as you see that he pops out his sword slash scythe, just start dodging, okay? Um, what I would recommend is the, the first time dodge out of the way. 
like away from him and then the second time run back towards him i don't know why every time you try to dodge twice he's still gonna hit you so that's just kind of like my idea these five balls that he throws there was moments where i was able to hit him where like all the the things would explode and then there's times where it just wouldn't do anything and he still threw them at me so once he throws them I uh, just go in a circle motion. This is like the part when he's like d casting a spell and he's uh, bringing in three minions. That's the time where you want to go in and hit him with the rot hammer. Um, again, like I said, just every time you see that white sword coming out, start dodging, okay? Um, that's one of the most difficult parts and to especially parry as well. Um, but that's my only recommendation. This next part is the part that you actually want him to start doing. This is the part that took me a little while. So you see how there's reflections on him. One of them is actually going to be him, which you'll see right now. It's bam. Once you hit him, he's down for the count for a little while. So hopefully at this point you have a bunch of rot hammers saved up and just literally just start smacking the crap out of him. Um, luckily he's going to do this all over again. But he's not going to do it till like a couple minutes from there. So again, this is where he's just teleporting. I would recommend uh, just staying like towards one side and just like where you can get the best view. Uh, and just try to uh, like predict where he's going to, um, you know, uh, pop out and just j just keep on shooting. The arrow is going to be like the best thing to do here. Um, try not to get too close to him because like I said, once he gets that white sword out, it's almost kind of game over. So try to stay away from him. Try to shoot him with the arrows. Wait for him to, you know, cast a spell when he spawns those three little dudes and just use a rot hammer. Also, so look at right here. I, I shot him where I knocked down all the balls. I don't understand how that like that kind of works. But anyways, uh, once you do enough damage, he's going to do that little uh, confinement thing again. There you go. You know what to do. Shoot, um, shoot him. Eventually you'll hit him. And just this is where you unleash hell with them again. Um. And that's pretty much it for this guy. Hopefully, again, like I said, hopefully my guides are helping out. They're, they are a little bit fast, but it's like, because I don't want you guys to be here for like two hours, right? I want you to get like, kind of like the little idea of, hey, this is what I did. So there you go. And there's the mask maker. All right. So now we got the warrior. Um, This one, I'm literally going to just kind of skip through it like very like quickly, just because it's just a time consuming fight again. You do nothing to him and it's just kind of rinse and repeat. Now, this guy attacks very slow. Uh, one of his main moves is the one where he jumps at, on, you know, and tries to stab you. That's when you legit just dodge. My only uh, tip for you is just to try to stay away from him. Go, like, in that square position where, you know, go, like, around those four poles. That's the only move that you have to watch out for um, once he, like, kind of, tr like, tries to charge at you. But other than that, he won't really do it as much. Uh, the only one he's going to mostly do is the one where he jumps on top. And that's where you kind of, you know, once you start building up, uh, that's when you just use a rot hammer. Again, this guy doesn't sp uh, spawn any um, minions. Also, when, when you see that he's going to start, like, launching at you, if you hit him in the head, you can actually stop that um, that strike. So, again, I know it's going a little fast, but it's just kind of like... This one legit just took me, like, one or two tries. Like, once you see him once, it, it's like, you know kind of what to do anyways. Um, he does also do, like, that... See, look it exactly we stopped him from the strike he does do this little thing where um he launches like three waves at you but again it's nothing crazy so hopefully you know this one doesn't give you too much help or i mean uh hard time with this guy he's he's a simple one so just follow what i do a lot of dodging though next on up we got the hunter here uh the hunter uh, it's not necessarily the the most hardest um fight but it just like you can lose sight of the hunter really quickly so the one thing that you you, you got to know is that the moment the hunter is about to hit you with you know strike you, you can see with the whole pink aura that's when you shoot it in the head and then it's gonna go down just like that he does this multiple times so just just because like you just recently did it doesn't mean he's not gonna do it again um this guy can be very invasive and there's a lot of times where you can't even see him. So just a heads up on that. But like, like I said here, a bunch of the times when you see that pink aura, that's when you know he's going to attack you. As long as you shoot him in the head, he's going to go down and that's your free time to just kind of um, hit him. Um, right there. Also, when he shoots that arrow onto the ground, an orb pops out. You can either block it or you can just kind of, you know, dash through it. Uh, but also just be careful once you do do enough damage to him he's gonna start going on the floor and try to attack you like that so my re my best recommendation would 
be like try to always keep tracking him again he can be very invasive um but always try to keep finding him and just dash away at times um again it's a very repetitive freaking um boss fight i guess like i said remember always see the pink like little flashes and that that's we know he's attacking and that's your chance to go up to him but um other than that just uh yeah just try keeping an uh, eye on him because he can be very invasive um once you like do damage to him like that and you can't see him anymore i would recommend literally just like start dodging uh with your um dash ability just because like you don't know where he's at and um best thing i can do is if, if the hunter is actually really close by to you like like that um just go up to him smack him once he's down of course and um you should use your dash ability but when he's far away there's no point to go up to him just shoot him with your arrows and try to get those um what do you call it the raw energy again as you can see like i kind of barely beat him but um it just all kind of rinse and repeat um the, the hardest part is like dodging and like trying to find him but other than that uh this should be the last fight for the toshi masks i'm um, here i just was like nope i'm not risking it so i'm i'm using the arrow so there you go hopefully that one helped out all right so now we are to second to last boss fight and this is corrupt toshi uh this one was very very freaking difficult for me in in the beginning or i guess in normal mode because i was like how the hell am i supposed to shoot him everything i shoot he just deflects again it's the dash ability. That's the only thing that helps. So what I would recommend doing here, every single time he's about to hit you, use your dash to dash towards him. You're seeing that like I'm blocking his hit and he's not doing any damage. Also, when he gets up into the sky, try to shoot him in the head where he's going to go down right there. And that's where you kind of release all your rot hammers and then just keep on dashing him. Again, dashing into him does damage as well, okay? So as you can see here, I... I feel like I was getting a lot freaking lucky with uh, pairing him. Um, I, I don't know if that's that that was the case, but again, the main thing you want to kind of know is every time he's about to like launch at you, just dash at him. It's gonna, it's not only like gonna prevent his his attack, but it's also gonna give you time to um, or I guess make him damage as well, right? So that's the way that I did did it. Like every time he's 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 about to attack, you just dash towards him. Don't dash like crazy either, just because remember you do have a limit. And every time he goes up in the sky, shoot him in the head, and he's gonna go down. And uh, that's just the thing. Like look right there. Every time he's gonna attack me, boom! I just dash out of there or dash into him. Put it that way. And then once he's on the floor, just raw hammer away, hit him with your um. With your staff and then just you know keep on dashing to take more damage so surprisingly this guy was pretty easy he took me one try but now this is the one that's really challenging right here alrighty so then last one um the corrupt god so this dude has three phases okay the first two phases should be really simple honestly if you can get up to like up to the third phase without being hit you're literally like at a good spot so for this one i'm not uh for the first phase i'm not gonna skip or like fast forward at all i want to show you exactly what you, you gotta do um obviously you gotta shoot him in those like blind spots right it's like those like little pimples in a sense now the easy thing to do is always try to try to stay away from him obviously but then you notice that he goes up to you right so you're like okay how am i supposed to do that literally just dodge in front of him that's all you have to do for them just you know slow down time jump so that you can you know have less time and just literally this is all you have to do he is pretty simple for the first two phases the the only difference in the third one is that minions start popping out and that's what makes it tough but all i have to kind of give you guys for advice in this um repetition um hopefully this is like the fight that you're kind of doing like the only fight that you're doing um on that day because this one can be very stressful um it took me a while to kind of like get to the point where i did the first two phases without really even being hit um right there i, I got a little bit lucky okay i kind of dodged them but luckily or firstly you, you always just like once he's charging at you just go straight into like dodging and get behind them um like i said the first one's very simple um 
The next little part after this is where you gotta fight other like little minions, and they're all easy. It's just the, that the freaking the Wood Knight pops out, and he can be very tedious at times. But you can get to the point where um where each um where like you can escape fighting him without taking any damage, if that makes sense. Um, but just go for the pimples. Each pimple takes like four shots to pretty much take down. And that's if they're charged as well, right? So they're, they're not just like simple um, uh, arrows. They got to be charged. So again, the only tip for this dude is just dash forward in front of him or towards him. And once you do enough damage, you're going to be teleported. And then this is where you got to start fighting minions. So as you can see right there too, I escaped without taking any damage. Now don't, you know, don't take it the wrong way. If you take damage, that's totally fine. Again, just keep on repeating this up to the point where like you feel comfortable doing the first two phases because I was comfortable doing the first two phases like really good. And then when once I got to the third phase, I was like, uh, what the hell do I do? You know what I mean? So it's just kind of repetition. Again, these are just minions. Um, try to take down the flying ones first. And then uh, after that, just try to take down the ones that I guess like the skeleton dudes and then just leave these lizards towards the end. Um, again, remember your dash is going to help out a lot. Once you uh, defeat those, this is where you're going to come back in this spot. And again, take down the mods first. Um, and then after that, take down the uh, skeleton dudes, but just be careful because of the night, the, the night's very annoying. But uh, from now on, like this one, I'm literally going to like fast forward a lot. Cause this one takes so freaking long. Now, the only thing that sucks about this one is that you can't use your rot hammer in this one, which is why this fight takes so long. Um, you literally shoot him in all his weak spots and he still won't go down. So a lot of it is just kind of dodging at the right moment. But remember, now you got the dash ability. So just get the heck out of there every single time. Um, don't always use the dash for everything. Um, it will eventually run out, right? So the only thing you really have to worry about is the one where he actually throws like his little bark sword, whatever. That's the one that's very difficult, but um, just keep on doing it. And as you can see, I've only been hit once. Again, it's totally fine. I I actually made it to where parts where I didn't even get hit at all un like until the third phase and I still somehow lost. But again, hopefully this is the only boss fight that you're doing like for the day because this one's very stressful um but it took me a couple tries it took me like an hour and like and some change to beat him but um yeah just use bombs use everything to shoot him because again you don't want to get near him because he's gonna whack you so dash ability comes into play a lot so after that this is when you get your first uh, rot and then now we're going for the second phase of the rock god now the second phase uh, of the rock god is literally the same thing as the uh, as the first one. So this is why I'm like fast forwarding it. The only difference is that he throws a laser, but like it's very simple to dodge. So again, do the same thing: shoot shoot the pimples and try to stay away from him. Um, again, got a little lucky there, but look at once he backs off like that, he's gonna show a laser. All you have to do is just dash through it. That's it. That's the only difference for the second phase. And again, just dash through him, go through the back, hit him, and back up. Again, because look at it, because then he can't hit you with those beams and all that. And uh, he probably only uses that, like, the laser like twice anyway, so it's not even much of a difference. Look, he always starts from the right and then goes to your left. So just dash like towards it. And that's it. Now, this part is just the flower, the the um, the jumping part. You can die here. doesn't matter. You'll, you'll still spawn. You'll see right now that like I die and I still respawn, so don't worry about this part. But I'm just going to fast forward this one as well. So yeah, like right there, as you saw, I died. Um, for some reason, this part doesn't really count. I don't understand it, but it's fine. But anyways, this is the where the third phase is going to ha uh, happen. It's pretty much the same thing all over again. Uh, there is like a new little animation. And the only difference is that there's minions, okay? Now, hopefully at this point, you're you're reaching the, fa the the third phase just to get some experience like okay this is how it is okay gotcha now he's gonna start off the same right just do that and now minions are gonna start happening see this is where i say that you should take advantage and parry those skeleton dudes just because you need three of the rots um also careful this is where for some reason freaking fireballs start happening from everywhere so all you got to do is just dodge them um and there's a point where like this dude disappears he he like doesn't even like 
He's 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 not even there. So my recommendation would be, be to take down the mots, take them down, and once you're left with like the skeleton dudes, try to use them to parry them. Again, you need three of uh, rot meters to take away his ooh, got lucky there. His arrows, right? Um, you'll see his arrows pop out in 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 his back like that. Just go up to them and press square. Um, you know, once I, like the little rot symbol appears on the arrow. And that's all you have to do. Uh, there's no other way you can do damage to him. Again, you know, this took me a couple tries, okay? So don't feel like, you know, you have to really, like, get everything perfect. Um, dodge the, the lasers. And again, the laser's going to take down the minions as well. So don't focus too much on taking down all the minions. Um, again, your main priority is just to, like, try to stay alive. Move around. And once he starts activating that, like, laser thing right there, that's when you want to... Um, Call your rots to take down the arrows, and that should pretty much kind of be it. Again, don't don't worry too much about everyone, um, but all you really necessarily need is three rot meters. Um, you know, you, you can obviously get more to get health, right? And that's pretty much it. Just again, once he charges you, dash through him. Just be careful when he goes up, um, and the laser again. We should hopefully be pretty comfortable at this point. And now I'm literally just waiting for him to call his his big attack so we can get the arrow and that's pretty much gonna do it right there so ladies and gentlemen uh once you uh do this part and go up to meditate in the last part that's where the uh, trophy pops out remember the trophy does not pop out here it's pretty much when you go meditate again um so just to heads up on that anyways ladies and gentlemen this is my first time doing a guide for like the hardest uh mode for bosses um I know it wasn't perfect. I totally understand that. I feel like there was parts where maybe I was going too fast. This is where like I need you guys to like kind of give me some feedback. Like, hey, these are boss fights for a reason. Slow it down. Because like if I left this uh, like at actual speed, we probably would be like at an hour and a half to two hours. No, actually, whoa, 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 way more. Because this is already 52 minutes itself. We We'd be somewhere around like two to three hours by the way this is not the uh the trophy i got the trophy from from the glitch um uh, but this is another trophy that i got so that's exactly where you should be getting the trophy by the way but uh yes let me know how i can improve on this again this this was my first one doing like i'm really hoping that at least like my little tips were able to guide you guys to like do this part um again just let me know down in the section below you know if this thing was helpful if not uh i apologize but uh, if you just it if it did help you, I would appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, be tuned for other videos like this. Obviously, a lot better as well. But anyway, thank you guys, and hope you all have a good one. Peace.